Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Stick around and see what's up next. We're at the nice um, cafe here in the house, in a vineyard, I believe it's called, Ontario, called the Watering Can. And it's uh, all around uh, flowers and people stuck in between flowers and so forth. Hi. Flowers everywhere. It's like hot houses and your tables and everything are stuck in between the flowers and the trees. All oh, the pumpkins. Nice. Come inside. Some kind of a shoe. Interesting uh, piece of artwork. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful in here. You can buy flowers here, you can buy meals here. This in here is gorgeous. Pretty that is. Daughters would absolutely love this spot. So this is the restaurant area. This place is amazing. I've never been in anything like it before and um, probably never will again unless I come to Ontario. But uh, oh my gosh, filled with, filled with flowers and plants and trees. And yes, some whimsical things that they got plants and everything growing in. Pianos. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just it's wonderful. So glad I came here. And the lunch was fabulous. We had an Asiego um, chicken flatbread, which was was to die for. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna head to Niagara on the Lake now, and. Uh, Go to a cafe there somewhere and get uh, tea and dessert. Hi everyone, we're here at the watering can in some part of Ontario, close to Niagara on the Lake. Lake. Niagara on the Lake, yes, that's right. Anyway, that's our next stop, Niagara on the Lake. We're having fun here in Ontario and Miranda and Peter just uh, took us out for lunch at the watering can. Very nice. I come back again, but probably won't, but if I'm ever in Ontario again, I will yep. stop by. Food was good.
I rose on the lake. Oh, that's where they were. little balls. Jersey cow they have because she's ready to give birth and haven't as of yet. So the Jersey cow's name is Daphne <laughs> and uh, they're gone down to see if Daphne's okay or if she's given birth to a calf yet. But it's pretty dark out so Jerome went down with her with a flashlight. You know we're enjoying our time here and uh, we got uh, probably another five days here and then we're heading on home again so yeah it's it's a good trip so uh, we'll see you all tomorrow good night god bless you all bye bye so we've been here now for seven days i guess haven't stopped and uh, we're heading home in uh, two days well today is Saturday Sunday yeah we're heading home on Monday so we got two today and tomorrow and uh, Monday morning we're going to some kind of a farmers market this afternoon uh, about an hour's drive from here and they sell just about everything so I'm looking forward to that um, it'd be good to get home, um, but it's so beautiful, I really don't want to leave. But that's it, all, thing, all good things must come to an end, right? So, uh, yeah, we got to um, go through all that mess of trying to get here. <laughs> With the Union Station and uh, 
airport on the island. Oh my goodness. I, uh, when I originally booked our tickets, I don't know, call me stupid, but I never ever knew that Toronto had a second airport. I never knew that they had an island. And when I booked the tickets, all I was thinking was, okay, there's only one airport in Toronto, the Toronto Pearson Airport. And when I booked the tickets, I see Toronto Airport. Because I didn't know there was a second airport, I booked those. Anyway, didn't book the extra insurance, which was stupid because he did that last year and it was great having it, but for some reason this year I didn't do it. And when I printed off my tickets, it said something about the Billy Bishop Airport. And I said, what the heck is that? So I called my sister and uh, she said, yeah, that's on the island. And I said, oh my goodness. So I called to change it to the Toronto airport and it said it would cost an extra $384 each to change it. So I said, well, we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, so in the future, I can guarantee you I will never purchase a ticket without buying that extra insurance package. And um, I recommend nobody fly without it because you never know what's going to happen. And things, you know, changes come up. So, uh, yeah, pretty stupid of me at the time. But anyway, it is done. So we didn't have a heck of a lot of trouble. We had a lot of people helping us. Uh, we asked a lot of questions and we followed a lot of people to where uh, they were going because they were going the same direction as us. So, yeah, but we got to, uh, we got to go back that way now. So, anyway, it's, uh, it's, that part was an adventure uh, for sure. And so we're going to, uh, but next time, next time we come up. I will be paying more attention and will be buying that insurance, believe me. And uh, it's a nice day here today. It's kind of overcast, but it's supposed to go up to 28. So that, that oh, it's really hot here. So um, I'm not one for the heat, but um, I see family coming there now. So I'll, uh, I'll take some pictures of where we're going this afternoon and some video on that. And, let you see all that too as well. Thanks, have a great day. Busy place. Oh, drift, we're looking up. I never think about doing something like this. Just finishing some tiramisu and a strawberry banana smoothie. You like it? Mm -hmm. You don't like it? All right. <laughs> I wouldn't need any more. I, don't, I wouldn't want any more. But Not a coffee. Okay. Lover. Tiramisu is coffee. So busy here today. It's crazy. Just uh, call my sister in there, out around, looking at different places too. So we're just sitting here and having a little bit of tea. I like it. Okay, managed to find one one picnic table under um, the shade here. Whew, and I wore pants. Wrong idea. Good morning. 
folks. We're still in Caledonia. Leaving Caledonia in a couple of hours to head to Billy Bishop Airport to fly back home to the rock. Oh well. Head to Mount Dorland sooner or later. <laughs> so at least. Peace out. Imagine this being any more than five or ten minutes. Good. 